within uh, a lot of what I'm going to talk about, it deals with uh, Buddhist philosophy. And uh, Buddhist philosophy is philosophy. So you, don't, you can be a Buddhist Christian, you can be a Buddha Jew. That's my favorite word, Buddha Jew. You, know? and you can have no belief whatsoever and gain something from just understanding Buddhist philosophy. And all Buddhist uh, philosophy really begins with just an understanding of a, the thing called the Four Noble Truths. And the Four Noble Truths have been compared to kind of like the spiritual compass. So if you're going to be on a path and you're going to know which way to go, then uh, a compass would probably be quite helpful for you to have. And the idea within the compass is, is just like north, south, east, and west, that the first truth just points to the truth of suffering. And uh, it's an inconvenient truth, but it's the truth. Uh, we're all going to get uh, old. You know, we're all going to at some point get sick, and we're all going to die. And, uh, and it awful, it's, it's inconvenient, but it's true. And there's really not a whole lot that comes from that, from that truth. Uh, what I like to focus on is how do you want to live? Right? How do you want your life to be in this moment? How would you like your life to be in moving forward in understanding that, that fact? In our society, a lot of times, we don't like to think about that. Uh, but for me, over the last six months, being able to see my mother-in-law uh, towards the end of her life and to see uh, just recently our kind of beloved teacher Jen Collison right at the end of her life uh, and all of us in this room have been with people and it's a blessing I find it's just one of the great two of uh, I have four great blessings in my life right now uh, watching my two children be born and being with my mother-in-law when she passed and being with Jen uh, a couple weeks ago. And those are, those are, at this point, they're my four great kind of blessings that, that I've had. And, um, and at the end, I, I find what's pretty interesting is uh, uh, there's nothing. You really, you don't have anything. Um, my mother-in-law, it's like, it was just a very eccentric woman and, you know, didn't have her car and didn't have her clothes and didn't have her cookbooks and didn't have anything. And that's all you really have towards the end is, is your presence and kind of what you're really literally building in this practice. You're building your presence, you're building your awareness, and it's really all that we, we have towards the end. And as, 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 as ugly as it can be, uh, I also kind of can find really a lot of beauty in it as well.